Hi everyone! So I have a Wax Melt Empties video. I'm filming this on Saturday, February 17th. So we're about midway through February. And I also have a kind of a random small-ish Scentsy haul to share. So I think I'm just gonna jump into the Scentsy haul really quick because again, it's pretty small and kind of random. And then we'll go into the empties. So I kind of made this order for a reason. I've been keeping my eye on the Scentsy clearance because there was a warmer in there that I've honestly been wanting for over a year now. And since it landed in the clearance, I figure now is the time to pick it up just in case it goes away, gets discontinued, I don't see it again. It's been one that I've always pictured having and thinking it would be beautiful on one of my console tables for the spring and summertime. So the warmer is the Dancing Petals warmer. It is so pretty when I've seen um, pictures of it when it's actually lit up in people's homes. I feel like looking at the pictures online doesn't really do it justice. So this warmer is originally $55 and it was on clearance for $27.50. They recently did some kind of flash sale where I saw this on sale even more than the $27. I want to say it was like 19 or so. It was even lower in price and I almost picked it up during that whatever it was, I think it was some kind of flash sale, but there was something else I wanted to pick up at the same time that was sold out. So I just didn't end up making the purchase at that point in time, but I saw that the item I wanted came back in stock and I figured, you know what, let me just pick it up because this is still available in the clearance. This is a 25 watt warmer and I think it's, is it ceramic? Is that what it's called? When it's kind of got that like, almost like clay-like feel to the warmer, um, which I love these kind of warmers. I also have like the night sky warmer, chromatic, um, acute copper, I think it's called, which is sort of the same material warmer. And I feel like they perform really, really well. So, I have a feeling this one will perform well, especially because it's a 25 watt warmer. So here's some of these, Inst is it instructions? I guess warnings and you can kind of see where it says 25 watt. I'm so excited. Um, I might even set this up just because, although it's February, it kind of has been feeling like spring. Although today it was a little bit colder. It's only in the 20s. Ooh, oh my gosh, I'm excited. This is a really wide dish. This is wider than the normal glass dishes and a little bit skinnier, I think, but it's super wide. Like here it is compared to my palm. I have no other Scentsy dish to compare it to, but this is really wide. So I have a feeling it's gonna be a good performer. I'm not really, actually I kind of am sitting by a plug-in. So maybe we will try plugging it in. This is what it looks like. Oh my gosh, it's super pretty. So it's got the little cord spot so you can line up your cord. Oh my gosh, it's so much prettier in person, I feel like. This is gonna be such a beautiful spring and summer warmer. So, so pretty. Okay, let me put in the light bulb. And then I will plug it in. I think I need to unwrap the cord so it can reach. Here's the little bulb it came with. Again, 25 watt bulb, which I don't purchase Scentsy warmers really anymore unless they're 25 watt bulbs. Cause I just don't get good performance with the 20 watt bulb warmers. Um, unless I'm buying it purely for like decoration. All right, let me unwind the cord and plug it in over here. And then the dish, 
So see how wide that um, that opening is? So it's a pretty wide dish that sits on top. And then here it is. Ooh, that's so pretty. Gorgeous. You can see the really pretty reds come through. That is so, so pretty. I almost feel like it's just as gorgeous, maybe even more gorgeous turned off because I feel like the colors are just so vibrant on the glass that the petals are, are in. I just think it's so, so pretty. So I'm super happy to have picked this up while it was still available. Just set that on the shelf there. Um, so that was like, honestly, one of the main reasons I made my order. The second was for the colorful fragrance flowers. I think both of these are part of the Valentine's Day collection. And I really wanted to pick up both the, um, the bouquet one that has the three petals, as well as the tangerine one, or sorry, the Simply the Zest one. So the Simply the Zest orange fragrance flower um, sold out really quickly. I think maybe the first day the Valentine's Day collection launched. I wasn't sure if it was going to come back, but I kept checking the website every now and again, and I saw it was back. So that's why I was like, okay, perfect timing. I'm going to get the um, colorful fragrance flowers and the, what was this one called again? The Dancing, Dancing Petals Warmer on Clearance. So I got the first one. Let me just bring it up. Unplugged fragrance flowers. So the first one I got is Perfectly Cute Buttercup Bell Fragrance Flower Bouquet. And then this is kind of what it looks like. I'll maybe insert pictures too, but this is what it looks like. So it's $35. It is pretty pricey, although I get a lot of joy out of these um, fragrance flowers. The area that I love putting these the most, obviously bathrooms, but I love bringing these fragrance flowers to my work because I don't have a warmer at work. I just don't want to mess with that um, in the work office. I don't want to mess with a waxident by accident, so I do not bring a warmer to work, but Here's what the oil looks like. And then I guess it kind of changes the fragrance flower color as the oil gets sucked up into the, the flower petals. I've not tried one of these colorful fragrance flower oils before, but I know they've had them in past launches um, for a little while now. So this is my first time trying out the colorful fragrance flower. So I'm really excited. So that was one of them that I wanted to pick up. The next one I wanted to pick up, I, um, I just thought was so cute. And then what I did was put it in the bundle and save. So currently the bundle and saves are even more on a discount. So for the three fragrance flower bundle and save, it's originally $45. But right now in February, they have a, a deal going on where it's the three fragrance flower bundle for $40.50. So I built a bundle and was able to include the um, orange Simply the Zest Dahlia Darling fragrance flower in the bundle, which I didn't think I was going to be able to because you can see how everything else, a lot of these fragrance flowers are on sale, except the Simply the Zest orange one. It doesn't look like it's on sale, but it let me include it in the fragrance flower bundle. So then it ended up being, you know, at a discount, not that $16 price. So I'm not going to really open these because I'm not planning to like use the oil. Well, I guess let me just show you the orange, right? I want to see what the orange looks like too. Ooh, this is really pretty. It almost looks like a, um, a fountain pen ink, almost. Really pretty. So I plan on bringing both of these ones to my office. 
I also picked up a fragrance flower in aloe water and cucumber. Again, just picked these up because I picked it up part of the bundle. And then the last one I got was Blue Grotto. I thought this one might be a good spring summertime scent. And then of course, now they're putting the fragrance flowers separately. So I got two Dahlia Darling and one Buttercup Bell. So these are just the corresponding flowers that go into the oil. So that was my purchase from Scentsy. It's been a long time since I made an order from Scentsy. And like I said, I just kind of had my eye on a couple things and when they all came back in stock, I was like, now is my chance to make my little order. So I made the order on February 7th and I actually got it in the mail today on February 17th. So that was my Scentsy haul. Now let's go into my empties. I feel like I don't have that many empties, but you know, I wanna kinda stay on a schedule of doing these um, like twice a month. So one, one mid month, one at the end of the month. Because we just went over Scentsy, um, my Scentsy haul, maybe I'll just share these couple Scentsy empties right at the top here. So the first one, is a cinnamon sticks, no, apple and cinnamon sticks fragrance flower. Let me just take it out so you can see. I love that they're putting the stickers on the bottom of these now. Previously they didn't and they were on top of the um, little black top that you screw off and throw away. So I'm really glad that they started putting these at the bottom so I remember what fragrance was in here because these last a, t a really long time so I just don't end up remembering what the fragrance was. This one I had in our bathroom and then I moved it down to our basement area and then it just completely dried up. There's no oil left, completely finished up. Nice for the holidays. I probably wouldn't repurchase this even for the holidays next year if it came out again because it wasn't like my favorite sort of scent but you know nice seasonal kind of a scent and I do like how it um used up all the oil to completion. I do have a question on fragrance flowers for you all, if you use them. Some oils, I don't know why it just, maybe it's the oil or maybe it's the location that I put the fragrance flowers, but some just do not finish. Like this one completely dried up, there's nothing left. I've got a couple fragrance flowers where there's maybe like a fourth of the oil left at the bottom and it's just not finishing. So I'm like, do I just call it done? Because the fragrance flower at this point is so dirty and dusty and there's not really a way to clean these because you'll get the oil all, all over your hand or all over the cloth that you're cleaning it with and it may even sort of destroy the petals if you try cleaning it. So the petals are completely disgusting and full of um, dirt, or not dirt, but dust. And it's been consistently at a fourth of the oil left for probably like a year. Like some of these I remember putting in our townhouse when we moved, which at this point we've been here more than a year and it's just not finishing. So I'm kind of debating like, do I just call them good? Because I don't really smell them anymore. They just look really dirty and I just don't think the oil is gonna fully evaporate. Or do you just let them sit there? Let me know because I'm kind of to the point where I just feel like changing it out and I just feel like tossing it because it's been open and in use for over a year now at this point. But let me know what you guys do with those couple fragrance flowers that just seem like they're not finishing. And then this one, I just wanted to share before I tossed these um, boxes, but I did just start a Dahlia Darling in jammy time in my office cube. So this one I just started. I just um, brought this one to work probably whatever Monday was. Monday, today's the 17th. Was it like 12th maybe? Monday the 12th I just started it. So just thought I'd share that. Um, I don't have that many non-wax empties, so I feel like let's just go opposite since I just talked about the fragrance flower. I just finished up this 
Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Cream in, sorry, not the cream, um, the Brazilian Crush in the 62 fragrance. This was a really small sample size or like travel size that came with the travel size body wash and the Boom Boom, boom, boom Cream. This one's only one fluid ounce. I do find that these mists, the Sol de Janeiro ones, I'm just comparing them to the Bath and Body Works Bath and Body Works mists. The Bath and Body Works sprays have a much more fine fragrance mist. So I feel like they take a lot longer to use up. The Sol de Janeiro one, the mist is a lot heavier, if that makes sense. So I feel like using up the Sol de Janeiro fragrance sprays actually you can use up really really quickly because i have some where they're not even a year old and i'm over halfway done with the spray whereas i have bath and body works sprays that i've had for years and i never finished them so i think that they the mist on here is a little bit more like coarse so that you use it up quicker is just my guess but i love this spray i love using it you know, I'll just mist it all over my body whenever I kind of walk into the bathroom. I'll mist it after the shower just to have kind of a nice fresh scent. This is one of my favorite scents. I also like, I can't remember the name, but I think it's number 71. And then I just recently purchased the one in the purple bottle. That's their newest fragrance. And then I also have one in like the blue bottle that I think was a limited edition summer summertime scent. But I really like these. I like the sprays. I enjoy them a lot and I repurchased that. I just repurchased it in the um, three ounce fragrance mist, the $24 one. I just got that number 62 again because I liked it so much. I finished up a Pink Frosted Animal Cracker Philosophy, Philosophy Shower Gel Bubble Bath. This is actually really old. I've had this for a long time. I had it, I had picked it up from Marshalls a while ago and finally just finished it because I use it just as bubble bath. Love the scent. It's a really nice bubble bath. And then I also finished up these two Love Beauty and Planet shampoo and conditioner from Target in the coconut milk and white jasmine scent. And I'm really not picky when it comes to shampoos and conditioners, but I always try something new whenever I finish up one. I don't really repurchase the same brand and scent back to back. I just try new ones out. So I think now I'm using maybe like a Pantene um, shampoo and conditioner now. All right, so now let's get to the empty. So as you can see, I feel like I don't have too much wax empties right now. I have a lot of Teddy B's samples. I'm not gonna talk too much about them just because I did all these samples within my five wax warmers throughout my townhouse one day. So I just wanted to use some samples, but because I did five different scents throughout my townhouse, it kind of just meshed and mingled. So I can't really give any specific details on my thoughts on these, but I did go through five. The first one is Queen of the South. The next one is The Riverlands, Vanilla Suede, Fall Into Christmas, which I have had before and I like it, but it's nothing too special. I don't think I'd repurchase this from when I can remember warming the my full size souffle of it. And then Honeybee, I do remember I picked up a souffle of this because I liked how the sample smelled so much so i'm finally warming the sample or finally warmed the sample and then i do have a souffle of this in my collection i warmed hot pie this is a souffle i know this is a really popular scent of tiffany's i remember i believe when i got this in i didn't love how it smelled on cold if i remember correctly i thought this one kind of almost had like a wine like a mold wine scent after cure time, I didn't get that on cold or warm anymore. So I think after cure time that whatever that kind of mold wine scent must have went away with cure time. Um, I did like this, but I've just found like in general, Teddy B's is light and doesn't do as well in larger like um, open concept kind of areas. 
My tidy bees tends to perform the best in smaller like bedrooms or little home office areas where the size of the room is pretty small and the fragrance doesn't just kind of get lost in a large area. So I didn't smell this in my living room kitchen area, but I did think it was a really nice, beautiful kind of body care sort of a scent in my office. And I did smell it in there. Is it one that I would like go to repurchase? Probably not. It doesn't stick in my mind as something I loved and must have again, but I did enjoy it. We've got Witches Be Crazy. This has been one of my favorite Teddy Bee's bakery blends that I've had. Sorry with the lighting. I feel like it's kind of getting dark when I pull, um, put up the wax labels to the camera. So hopefully you can still see it all right, but I do like it, but I'm just debating if I'm gonna move forward with continuing to purchase Teddy Bees, obviously I have a ton of Teddy Bees in my collection, but I do love this, but is it my favorite bakery of all time from any vendor? No, it's a favorite bakery of Tiffany's, but I just feel like there's other like pumpkin pecan waffle bakery blends from other vendors that I just like more and that are stronger. But you know, I do like this of course, it is a nice pumpkin pecan waffle bakery blend. Laundry Day, this was actually a really strong one for Teddy Bees. Strong and long lasting. I warmed this all day long and then we had friends over later into the evening and one of them even commented that it smelled super nice in our house. So I will say this kind of fresh, clean laundry fragrance was really, really strong. This is probably one of the stronger Teddy Bees scents that I've warmed of all time. Um, and I really liked it. It was nice, clean floral laundry, but it wasn't like a powdery leaning floral. So I actually did really enjoy that. Pink Lavender Linen was also a pretty strong one, not as strong as Laundry Day, but stronger than some of the other ones that I mentioned earlier. Um, this was pretty, this one did have maybe just a slight bit of powdery powderiness. Um, I did enjoy it. It was pretty, but it wasn't like my favorite lavender either. So enjoyed it, but probably wouldn't repurchase. <clears throat> Biscotti Dolce, I don't know. I warmed this on a day that I went into the office because it wasn't a favorite scent on cold. Came back and I really didn't smell it at all. So this one would be on the light end. I've got a Swanky. This was from Essential um, Grab Bag. So this is Golden Sands Exotic Vanilla Pink Sugar, and it was really pretty. Kind of like the grab bag says, it was just a nice sensual kind of body care scent, and it was really nice, and it smelled probably like medium. This was a loaf of Raspberry Jam Queen of Cupcakes Sugar Cookies from Swanky. This was really good. Swanky has a really, really, really good raspberry jam. It, I think it must be similar to Vintage Chic Scents. It's like a true fruity raspberry jam, not floral or perfumey leaning at all. And her raspberry jam is super, super strong. So whatever it's mixed with, whatever bakery, the raspberry jam definitely is the strongest scent note. And it's really, really nice. I liked this a lot. I've got Adessa's Homespun Scents in Marshmallow Noel. Honestly, this one was light. It kind of had to me a little bit of that Play-Doh-y vanilla scent. But to be fair, I know I've had some light performers from Dessa, but to be fair, these scent notes just, I wouldn't expect from any vendor to be super, super strong. It's gooey marshmallow and vanilla be Noel type. I don't even know why in this pre-order that I ordered this, I got two of these because just reading these scent notes, I'm just surprised I would have picked up two of these where the scent notes are just really, really gentle vanilla notes. Like to me, they'd be more blenders than on their own. So when I read this and picked this up um, in my collection, I figured it was gonna be on the light side, but just thought I'd give it a try. So, you know, it was, it was okay. This is nothing I would repurchase. One sample from Candles from the Keeping Room in Peppermint Cream Sugar Cookie. This was really strong, a very nice mint bakery. To me, it kind of smelled like a mint chocolate bakery. Although it doesn't say anything about chocolate in here, it smelled like a peppermint hot cocoa scent to me on warm, and it was really strong. One Rose Girls Insider Delight. When I first got this in, I did not like how it smelled on cold. It reminded me of the L3 cider. 
I think now she is a Bath & Body Works type cider, but she used to have a different cider note and I did not like it. I The way I describe it sometimes is like it smells like the black olive juice in the canned black olives. Like it's just not my favorite cider at all. And that's kind of what this smelled like to me when I got this in on, um, on cold at the beginning. But after cure time, it did start smelling better. Still just that slight, slight little bit of black olive juice in the background, but it smelled much better. And then on warm, it smelled even better. So I did like it and I'm happy to have the, another one in my collection because I did pick up two of these at the time. I don't know if I would immediately repurchase this cider from Rose Girls just because she has other ciders that I like even more too. But I'm just pleasantly surprised that it did so, so much better after cure time and on warm than when it, I smelled it when I initially got it in. And this one was strong and long lasting. And then the last wax melt empty I have is this from Candles by Victoria. This was a loaf custom that I named Pumpkin Mochi Donut, which is vanilla bean Noel and pumpkin pecan waffle. This was really nice. It was a really nice, solid pumpkin pecan waffle bakery. I enjoyed it and it was really strong. So yeah, enjoyed this. So that is the end of my wax melt empties and my little Scentsy haul video. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.